Welcome everyone back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Ducky. This is the Maya Pro. This is a mechanical, a 65% mechanical keyboard uh, from Ducky. And I'm going to kind of show you what's in the box. I'm going to do a more long term review of this keyboard down the line. But again, this is a 65% PBT mechanical keyboard. Uh, I did choose the Cherry MX Brown switches. There's a ton of different switches you can get out there. I like the blue a little bit better, but these are, keyboards are hard to find and sometimes they're not always in stock. So if you want to be the first one to get one, you kind of got to, um, you know, deal with maybe different switches than you traditionally would like. But I do really like the MX Brown ones. With that being said, let's jump in and see what you actually get in the box when you buy one of these. Alright guys, so let's see what's actually in the box. This actually came from mechanicalkeyboards.com. This is about usually one of the uh, only places where you can actually get these keyboards at. I will shoot a link of the uh, website below where you can pick this up at. I'll also throw uh, some Amazon ones up there if you want to purchase them from there. But in the box, so the first thing you'll get, you'll get the keyboard. We'll save the, the best for last, which is the keyboard. Uh, looks like you get mechanical keyboard sticker. So it's just some stuff advertising for their website. You will get, looks like a USB-C to USB cable. Yep. So get USB-C to USB cable there, which is nice. Then you will get, looks like some product info on purchasing, all that jazz. Uh, and then you get all... Not really sure what's in this. Oh! It's a panda. Again, this is the panda edition, so... This is likely not something I will ever use, but at least it's there if we... If you want it. It's kind of a nice edition. I could see how some people would, would like that. Alright, and then we get... Pouch here. I believe this keyboard, I believe I paid $129 for it. These are not the cheapest keyboards in the world, but they will last you forever. The one I had before this, I had for about 10 years. It still worked. I just got rid of it just to just to get rid of it and get something different. This looks like a mouse pad. Actually, this is pretty nice. It actually looks like a fairly large mouse pad. Sorry, I don't have a very wide angle on the camera there, but Gives you an idea of what it looks like. Looks pretty nice. So well, again, probably not something I would use, but I could see how you, know, if you wanted to throw it on your desk. Be nice. Feels nice. Good quality. Toss that to the side and get to the good stuff, which is going to be the actual keyboard. Again, nice, nice box. Nice packaging. I believe these, these come from China, but I think it's a Taiwan company that makes them. Again, these aren't the easiest keyboards to find. That's the only website is that mechanical keyboards that I've been able to actually find them at. Alright, so it looks like you get... This is actually to take the, the keys off correctly. So that's nice. And it looks like you get some extra keys here. Again, these are uh, PBT keys keycaps so uh, not really sure what that means but they'll last forever basically it has to do with the coding that they put on those uh, I believe it's the to keep the the lettering and stuff on there but looks like you get some pandas there try to get them a little closer and a different space bar the space bar that's on here is pretty neat and then you get a keyboard. It does have a few lights on it, but there's a million ways to customize this thing. I believe this is white LED backlit. I don't usually use backlights on it, but it will go through on how to customize everything there. Uh, their keyboards are pretty customizable, especially if you get some of the RGB ones. So that walks through how to do all that in about six different languages. And then here is the actual keyboard which I'll try to come around here and get you guys a little bit better shot of it. But it's an extremely nice looking keyboard. Again, this is a Cherry, this is a MX Brown. You can see it's a little more silent than the blues or the red switches. Again, this is a mechanical Cherry MX keyboard. Uh, but if you just take a look here, look at the detail that you, that they put into these keyboards. 
So I kind of like this. Originally, I was going to take the panda off and put this traditional white space bar on it, but I think I'm going to keep it the way it is. I mean, it's... Really nice. Again, you can change all these keycaps, but if you can see the actual design on them, it's a real nice keyboard. So it kind of has a force vibe. If you take a look at the keys there. And I believe there's not much on the bottom of these. Nope. Just some labeling. There's your USB-C cable to connect it. So that's everything you get if you purchase a Ducky keyboard. Uh, again, this is for the, the the Maya Pro, the Panda Edition. They have a million different ones. Uh, I used to have a Year of the Dragon, which I got rid of a long time ago. I wish I would have kept. But that's it, guys. That's an unboxing and all the stuff you get here. Not the phone, but kind of what you get if you're uh, looking to purchase a Ducky keyboard. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions about this keyboard or where to get the stuff at, uh, feel free to leave the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.